The adapter design pattern provides us with a solution for the following problem. Let's assume that we have a class. Its name is book and it implements an interface. Now, let's say that we asked the developer who developed that class to implement the interface i product. The developer did a small mistake and implemented another interface i other product. It is a very um, it is a similar interface with uh, the same method just with uh, different different names. Now that the class book was already defined as a class that implements i other product, we have a problem. We expected to have those methods set name, set price, and set, set ID. And instead of those methods, we have the set, the ID, set, the price, and set the name. The solution for this problem will be to define a new class that extends book, a new class that implements the correct interface, and then define those three methods the interface I product includes, and implement each of these uh, three methods by calling um, the, the equivalent, the matching uh, method from the other interface, the one that was already defined. So now, when we instantiate book adapter, we can invoke on the new object the method set name as expected. The implementation of set name includes an invocation for set the name, the wrong name a method that exists. The same with the other methods. Here in this code sample we instantiate uh, the book adapter uh, class and um, we pass over the reference for the new object to set details and set details succeeds in calling those three methods we expected the three methods that were defined in the interface i product, the correct interface. Now, if we try to test this code, we shall get this output.